Howdy, Warriors. Lieutenant Colonel Brenda Bustillos here, your U.S. Army TRADOC Command Dietitian. And for this video, I brought you to my local commissary here at Fort Eustis, home of U.S. Army TRADOC and the Center for Initial Military Training. As you notice, this is not the beautiful Army Community Services teaching kitchen that we've been utilizing for the rest of our videos, but we've got a special topic today. Today, we're going to discuss how you can fill your fridge freezer and pantry with nourishing meal and snack options that are nutritious and won't bust your budget. So think about this, just as you would for a vacation, an important financial decision, or simply thinking of what to serve for family for the dinner. Having a plan in place to save you money, time, and heartache. So before you walk into your local commissary or grocery store, Prepare yourself with a shopping list and a plan. Decide ahead of time what you need based on what you already have. Create a list and stick to it. Most grocery stores offer online shopping and curbside pickup at no extra cost. This saves you time and money because it allows you to stick to your shopping list and avoid temptations when you walk all of the grocery store aisles. It is a common misconception that helpful, nutritious food is expensive. In reality, all food can be expensive. It depends on how and where you shop. Food prices fluctuate based on where you live, in the country, and around the world. If you arm yourself with the knowledge of local food prices, affordable food retailers, seasonality of produce, sales, couponing, and so forth, shopping for nutritious food can be a fun, rewarding, and affordable experience. Let's talk about how you can make that happen by taking a trip around our local commissary. Let's start here in the produce section. To save the most money on fresh produce, choose produce that is in season. This is when fruit and vegetables are at peak flavor and are often much more affordable than if you purchase out of season. If you have a local farmer's market, this is another great place to buy fresh, tasty, and affordable in-season produce. If you're not sure what is in season, your state and local agricultural extension can provide you with the information on seasonal produce in your area. Alternatively, you can reach out to your local dietitian or commissary produce manager for assistance. If you're in a pinch for some prep time and you can spare a few extra dollars, look for pre-cut fruits and vegetables. They will save you time, but often cost more than whole, uncut product. Aim for a variety of produce. Remember, the more color you put in your cart, the better. Now we've traveled over to the meat department. So your meat and your seafood products are often the most expensive items in your cart. If you're a consumer of meat and seafood, choose smaller quantities of the pricey, high quality cuts and seafood options. You can expect a high grocery bill if you're choosing beef cuts, such as ribeye and filet mignon. In addition to lobster and crab legs, which are also quite expensive. To save some cash, shopping in season also works with seafood. For example, if you are a fan of wild-caught Alaskan salmon, you can save some money by purchasing during peak harvest in July and August. Buy extra meat and seafood when there is a safe or seasonal deal and freeze it. Poultry is generally the most affordable meat item. If it fits your budget, pick up a rotisserie chicken for a fast weekday dinner with endless ways to use the meat for your favorite recipes. Don't forget to save the chicken skin and bones. Throw them all together in a pot with some vegetable scraps to make a delicious chicken broth that can be frozen or refrigerated for use in numerous other recipes throughout the week.
Now, let's move on over to the dairy section. Non-dairy milk options such as soy, oat, and almond milk have gained in popularity, but can be pricey and don't contain the amounts of vitamin D, calcium, and protein that cow's milk offers. If you consume yogurt and cottage cheese on a daily or regular basis, purchase these items in bulk containers as opposed to the individual servings and portion them into single servings when you get home. Individually portioned items are priced for convenience and can add up quickly on your grocery bill. Purchasing items you consume regularly in bulk can be a budget best practice. If nutrition quality is a concern, look for Greek yogurt or other yogurt options that are lower in added sugar and higher in protein. Now, on to the frozen foods. Have you heard the myth about frozen and canned fruits and vegetables? You know, that they're less nutritious than fresh? Not so. In fact, frozen fruits and vegetables are nutritious, delicious, easy to use, cheaper, and stay fresh longer. Some frozen vegetables are packed with heavy sauces or seasonings to add flavor. So if you want to cut back on sodium and extra calories, opt for plain frozen vegetables. Frozen fruit and vegetable options are great for busy adults, families, and are easy on the wallet. The same goes for frozen protein options, such as raw or pre-cooked fish, meat, and poultry. Frozen convenience meals can be found in not only the commissary or local grocer, but convenience stores may also carry them. These can be cheaper than takeout food on post, but do pack extra sodium, fat, and calories. Select frozen meals with 300 to 600 calories that contain at least three grams of fiber and 15 grams of protein. Pair these meals with extra frozen vegetables, fruit, or a small side salad. They're also good to keep in the freezer at work in case you run out of the house without your lunch or have a long day at the office. These are quick and easy options that may not be as cost-effective and nutritious as meals and snacks that you've prepared for yourself. Now, let's hit the center aisles. This is where you have to be careful and resist temptation to pick up empty calorie items. These food and beverage items are usually packed in calories and offer few beneficial nutrients. We all have to eat, so let's make sure we make our calories count. Center aisles also contain other protein options, such as canned and packaged tuna, beans, lentils, nuts, and nut butters. These are affordable, shelf-stable protein options if you have limited or no refrigeration. Just as we discussed in the frozen food section, canned fruits and vegetables are just as nutritious as fresh produce. These products are harvested when fully mature and packed with nutrients before being canned or frozen. Fresh produce is typically harvested before it reaches its peak, so it can last longer in the grocery store. Not all canned and frozen produce items are created equal. So check labels of canned fruits to avoid those packed in heavy syrup, which equates to added sugar and calories. Select canned fruits packed in light syrup, 100% fruit juice, or in its own juice. The same rule applies for canned vegetables. Try to avoid vegetables packed with extra sodium, so select vegetable labels in low or reduced sodium. To remove excess sodium after purchase, you can strain the canning liquid from your vegetables, then rinse the vegetables prior to use. One of the best features of frozen and canned products is that they last longer than fresh produce. Mmm, I smell bread. <laughs> when purchasing breads and cereals, choose 100% whole grain products. These products have whole grains as the first ingredient on the food label, and they're higher in dietary fiber than products that contain more fillers and less whole grains. Pick plain grains such as rice, oats, and quinoa instead of highly processed products of the same. Plainly packaged grains are often cheaper, you can buy them in bulk, and you can add your own spices and ingredients. Grains that are highly processed, 
pre-seasoned and flavored are generally packed with sugar, sodium, artificial flavors, and or preservatives. Do you find yourself walking through the commissary and thinking, I know how to shop on a budget, but how do I find the most nutritious options? If you need help identifying healthful foods that are nutrient dense, just look for the dietitian approved green thumb. Now that we've walked through each section of the store, let's talk about a few other money saving considerations. Purchase store brand items over name brands as these items are usually cheaper and in some cases are the exact same product, just wearing a different box, bag, bottle, or label. It's important to look at unit prices and determine whether a smaller or larger package of food is worth the price. At home, pay attention to how much food you waste. Ask yourself how often you consume items that you've tossed and if they're worth purchasing again. If you're like me, you want to save time, money, and brain power on deciding what to buy at the grocery store. Whether you're watching your weight or your wallet or working to improve your health or performance, keep these helpful tips in mind. Plan your meals and snacks ahead of time. Make a shopping list and stick to it to avoid impulse purchases. Focus on whole foods. Limit those highly processed food items that are often less nutritious and include multiple ingredients. For products that have a season, avoid purchasing outside of their seasonal window to maximize flavor, quality, and cost. Avoid products with artificial ingredients, flavors, and colors. Convenience can cost more on your wallet and your waste. If you can spare the time to prepare your own meals and snacks, this can save you money and possibly a few extra pounds. Read food labels and compare products for nutritional quality and value. For items you consume frequently, buying in bulk may be more cost effective. Don't shop when you're hungry. Hunger cues can entice you to purchase and eventually consume products that you wouldn't have otherwise or that may not be on your shopping list. Use unit pricing information to help you decide which products offer the best bang for your buck. When it's all said and done, pack those dinner leftovers for lunch and freeze meals and ingredients for later to avoid food waste. One last thing, if you're having trouble affording nutritious meals for yourself and your family, or you're having difficulty accessing safe, nutritious food, there are resources available to you. You are not alone. Many military service members experience these difficulties and you should not feel shame or guilt by seeking assistance. You may be eligible for the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program or SNAP, formerly known as the Food Stamp Program. SNAP provides benefits or allotments to families and individuals based on the number of people living in your household and your monthly income. You or your family members may also qualify for the Special Supplemental Nutrition Program for Women, Infants, and Children, also known as WIC. You may qualify for the School Lunch and Breakfast Programs, as well as the Summer Food Service Programs for Children. Most local farmers markets accept SNAP benefits, and there are opportunities to access food from a community food distribution location, a local food bank or pantry, church food pantries, and community gardens. Additionally, you can apply for financial assistance through Temporary Assistance for Needy Families, or TANF, also the Family Supplemental Subsistence Allowance, or FSSA, or your Services Emergency Relief Fund. If you are having trouble affording food for your family, please visit your local military support center or reach out to a registered dietitian to get connected with local food assistance resources. Commissaries.com has over 200 
dietitian approved recipes, but it also has a link to the Stronger Together campaign that features numerous resources for military families experiencing difficulty affording and accessing food. Just like the commissary and myself, the resources are there for you. Did you enjoy this video? Then don't stop here. If you want to get the most from your nutrition, then tune into our next video in this series. Until then, we wish you health, happiness, and high performance.